All right, folks, we've hit a little short pitching wedge up into the heart of golf country here in Scotland, up to Carnoustie. I'm joined now by Mr. Trevor Williamson. Mm -hmm. Right, longtime caddy here at Carnoustie, home of the 2007 Open. We call it the British Open, Trevor, in That's the States. That's all right, we'll let you off with that. Right, no okay. <laughs> Trevor is steeped in the history of golf here in Scotland. Your great uncle, yeah, a gentleman named Alan yes. Simpson. Yeah, I had uh, some luck Jack, one day. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Simpson, he won the Open. That was my great uncle. He won the Open in 1884 at Prestwick. Uh, he was the, the brother of Robert Simpson, my grandfather, who was probably the most prolific club maker uh, to come out of uh, Scotland. Uh, he started his career here in 1883 uh, as a professional and curator of the course, but also was allowed to continue his club designing and uh, club making as well as serving the members, as it were. Right. Now, your family beyond that has a tradition. You have the golf shop across yeah, the way had, from the 18th. That. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. The, the, my my uncle, uh, my grandfather's original business was along at the other side of the town. It's no longer there. And in 1923, he bought that uh, shop there from another uh, club maker. There was many club makers in the town. About six that were really very good. A lot of very inventive club makers in Carnoustie. Wonderful. Now, Trevor has had the honor of uh, carrying the bag, as it were here at Carnoustie for several years yeah. and the history is so deep. The first Open was played what year here? 1933. Yeah. yeah. Tommy Armour won that and then we went on to have Henry Cotton, the, the very debonair British uh, winner in 37 and then of course we had Ben Hogan in 53. Ah. Uh, that was Ben Hogan's only Open. He, he never came back again. Uh, came here, won it and went away. Yeah, yeah. But, but left his mark forever here, you know. Uh, number six is the is now called Hogan's Alley. It used to be called Long, but it's now called Hogan's Alley for the way that he every day played the ball the same way over the fence and back in. So uh, we, we have a lot to be thankful for. Then after that, we have Gary Player, 1968. Tom yeah. Watson's first one in 75. A great win for Watson. Great win for Watson. A yeah. very popular win too here. And then after that, he went on to win more. So well done, Tom. Well, let's talk about the course, its layout itself. Tell us some of its its best features. How about the pot bunkers? A lot of them out there? A lot of bunkers out here, yes. There's a lot of bunkers. Uh, for the average visitor, uh, you know, sometimes they're a bit of a challenge. The, the sand at present, and it has been for some time now, is very soft. Uh, beware the, the fellow that thinks he can get out and get some distance on it. He's yeah. going to treat that as a, as a really, as the American word, a trap. And that's what it is. The bunkers are very well situated though. I mean, you hit a good shot, you will not be penalized. But we have several with quite crafty rollings on them. So if you're about 20, 30 feet out, they may, may still catch you. <laughs> Absolutely. But the, the most famous bunkers are a number 14 spectacles. So named the hole because of the fact that they look like giant eyes and uh, they're many times photographed, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes with hatred, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a criminal up on the wall, yes. no doubt about yes. it. Yes. Well, of course, the 2007 Open mm -hmm. is here. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful layout. Yes. Yeah, so what are those guys going to face with the greens? I mean, we've got back in the States, of course, the Oakmont greens. The Oakmont fairways are high. What are the guys going to face? They, they're not going to face that. They're, they're, the greens will be faster than they probably are just before we close on Sunday, uh, but they will not be like that. Uh, the, the hope is actually to let the fairways go brown, uh, and the reason behind that is we, they did the same thing last year at Hoylake, and that's the way golf was in this part of the world. In the summer days before sprinklers, you've got a sunny, windy spell of weather, then the fairways dried and they would go brown, and the ball would bounce all over the place. But that's that's proper Lynx golf, you see. Right, right. But the only problem is we've had quite a lot of rain recently, so sprinklers off to let it brown, I don't know if it's going to be like that. Either way, the, the conditions really, the course is going to play 7,421 yards, longest UK Open course has been. Yeah? Yeah. So the rough's not going to be too fierce as it was in 99. The fairways won't come in. Uh, at that distance, you can't afford that. I don't want them to get it too hard, but a couple of windy days might taste a little. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, great stuff, Trevor. We appreciate it. Oh, pleasure, Randy. You want to go have a pint? Um, might do. Is it right. fine? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> All right, folks, maybe one of the longest par threes in, in the British Open history is uh, right here, number 16, yeah? I would say that's a fair comment. This, this is a, a, a very difficult par three, especially if there's an east wind, which will be coming in our face. Uh, they could stretch this out arguably to 265 from tee to pin, so it's, it's uh, 
a 46 yard green which can go, you can set the pin right back. So it's, it's a very challenging hole. Uh, Tom Watson on winning in 1975 never actually parred this hole. He had a birdie in practice but never actually parred it. Yeah, but what about the, the famous Golden Bear? He had some... Uh... Yeah, Nicholas, yeah, that's right. Nicholas, the first time he saw it, he thought, oh, he said, this can't be a par three, it looks too damn long. So he, he decided to have it measured, or asked somebody to measure it, which they did. And it came out, of course, as a par three. But so he played it and then enjoyed it, I think. <laughs> right, right. Wonderful. Good hole. Yeah, great good hole. hole. Great hole. What's it, the water called? It's called the Barry Barn. Barry Barn. B B A Barry. 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 B A. It's, it comes through the village of Barry, which was in existence before Carnoustie. You know, that's where it comes from. Okay. Yeah. This one I got. Okay, it's we're like, good. It's like the Mekong Delta must come from Mekong, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, what we're talking yeah, about is the, the yeah, Barry Bond. Burn, burn. Burn. B U R N, for God's sake, man. <laughs> that that uh, snakes its way literally through uh, the fairway in number 17, yeah, yeah Trev? Yes, that's right.